Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm a student midwife here at DPH and I'm going to show you how to top and tail and bath your baby. Top and tailing. Have everything you would need to hand and make sure the room is nice and warm with no droughts. For top and tailing, you will need a changing mat or towel, cotton wool or cotton pads, and two bottles of warm water. Make sure you use a different one for the face and another one for baby's bottom. A nappy sack or bucket for the dirty nappy and cotton wool. A clean nappy, clean clothes in case there is a leakage. A safe place to offer your baby a daily top and tail is the floor, but it is important that you make sure it is not cold as laying on a cold surface can lower your baby's body temperature. Begin by undressing your baby down to the nappy and wrap them in a towel so they don't get cold. Talking and interacting with your baby during this time will keep them calm and offer the opportunity for both of you to bond together. Dip a cotton pad in the warm water and start cleaning your baby's face, wiping away from the eyes. Their eyes are the most delicate part of your baby's face and you don't want to bring anything into them. Wipe across the mouth and lift baby's chin to clean the crease in the fold of the neck. Remember to change cotton pads as needed. Wipe the back of the neck. Remember to clean behind baby's ears and gently inside, just as far as you can see. Never use cotton pods to clean inside your baby's ears. Now wash your baby's hands and feet. Babies often scratch themselves with their nails. You can use your baby's nail clippers or small round, round ended baby scissors. If you're a little scared of doing this, a fine emery board can be used instead. To finish, pat your baby's skin dry, especially where there are creases. It is normal for babies to have yellow secretions in their eyes, but if this is a greenish colour, ask your midwife, your health visitor or your GP for advice. If you need to, the eyes can be cleaned with cool boiled water. To do this, place four cutting pads in a ceramic bowl and pour boiling water over them. Allow the water to cool down, then when ready, squeeze any excess water away then wipe from the inner corner of the eyes and out. Get rid of the cotton pad. Use a fresh cotton pad to dry, then use a new clean one for the other eye, repeating the process. Due to its amazing antibacterial pro properties, breast milk is also a, a good alternative to clean the eyes and even nappy rash. To clean your baby's bottom, use the front of the nappy to wipe off any poo. Then use the cotton pads and the warm water in your other bowl to remove the rest. Clean the whole nappy area, making sure you can clean inside the folds of the skin. See our previous video for a more in-depth description of how to change your baby's bottom. Bathing your baby. Again, you will need to make sure the room is warm with no droughts and the floor is the safest place to do this. Just remember not to place your baby directly on a cold surface as they will lose heat quite easily. Have everything ready in the preparation of bathing your baby. You will need a baby bath or washing up bowl, a changed mat, two towels, a muslin sweat, clean clothes and a nappy. You won't need any soaps or liquids, cleansers. Plain water is best for your baby's skin in the first month. To make sure the water is in the right temperature, we recommend that you start by adding the cold water first and then add warm, and then add hot water as required. Test the temperature with the inner part of your wrist or your elbow. It should be around 37 degrees, close to the body temperature. 8 to 10 centimeters will be deep enough. Follow the top and tailing as described before to clean your baby's face. After you have done this, wrap your baby in a towel so they won't get cold and lift baby over to the bath. Support their head and neck. Pour water over your baby's head and gently wash their hair. Then bring your baby back to the mat and dry their hair. Take your baby's nappy off and clean the area as described before. 
To hold your baby safely during the bath, use one hand to hold your baby's upper arm and support the head and the shoulders with your wrist. Use your other hand to hold your baby's legs and lower them into the water. Use this opportunity to refresh every part of your baby's body, making sure you can clean any creases in the skin. If you want to wash your baby's back and bottom, swap hands and be mindful to keep baby's mouth and nose out of the water. If your baby still has their cord attached, avoid getting it too wet. When you are finished, fully wrap your baby in a towel and dry them as gently and thoroughly as possible. Then unwrap and dry all the little creases and folds and gently dry the umbilical cord. A muslin square is useful for this process. Now put a clean nappy on and use the opportunity for some cuddles. Dress your baby when you are both ready. Some babies will be born covered in a white waxy substance. This is known as Vernix caseosa. The purpose is to protect their skin and is a natural moisturiser. It's best to leave it on and not to wash it off. It is common for babies to have dry skin when they are born particularly if you go over your due date. No products are needed and this usually has disappeared by the time your baby is a month old. Avoid bathing your baby in the first few days as they need to regulate their temperature. Bath your baby two to three times a week, however if they enjoy it every day is fine too. Ideally, don't wash your baby straight after a feed when they're hungry or when they are tired. Clean water is best for the first month. It is not recommended to use cotton buds to clean inside your baby's ears. Co-bathing is a wonderful way to bond, but just make sure someone is there to help. Never leave your baby alone in the bath, not even for a second.